We are indeed with some pachyderms and we have got the tiniest little pachyderm I've seen in Kenya so far. It is still wobbly on its feet. Now I don't quite think it's newborn and I'll reposition in a moment. But look at it go. But it's only a, probably a couple of days to a week old. Look at it. It is so small. Really struggling to keep up. Mom, slow down until I get used to my feet. Looks like it's um, <laughs> out of proportion at the moment. Its feet and its tail look way too big for its body. It needs to grow into his shoes. Right, sh shall we go up a little bit closer? I think let's, because it's going quite, quite a distance away. Now, mom doesn't seem too bothered by us at all. The little elephant and mom were actually just to our left and they quite happily walked past. So I, I'm not too worried about repositioning. But with something like this, you do have to be a little bit cautious. And you obviously want to have good encounters with this young elephant. It will start to get, oh, it's drinking. It will start to get used to cars, but it's just nice to give them a bit of space. You can see that that little one doesn't really know what it's doing just yet. Oh my gosh, and now we're gonna watch it try and drink water if it has even, if, if it even knows what water is just yet. This is really gonna be suckling. It's okay, big girl, I'm giving you lots of room. It's just the sun is not great. David, did you put new batteries in the remote to move the sun around? That's what we need right now. Is this okay though? There we go. We will make, David will make it work. He just, he's a magician when it comes to camera work. There we go. So they found themselves a little wallow, which is filled up with the last of the rains. And then, look at that little one. I don't think your trunk is even long enough to reach the water just yet. Now they fall in love with water from the get go. It's one of their favorite things, one of my favorite things as well. I mean, I love everything about elephants. But to watch them have their first mud wallow is hysterical. I'm going right underneath mom. So you can see, not really worried about drinking. It doesn't have to worry, uh, drink at all. It will get all its um, hydration from mom's milk, all its nutrients. And you know it's young because it can still right, fit right underneath mom's belly. And there's even a little bit of a gap. I haven't seen a young elephant like this for such a long time, even at um, Juma in South Africa. It had been ages since we'd seen a teeny tiny calf. Oh, and it's a little boy too. <laughs> oh, very sweet. Look how gentle mom is as well. I'm not making sure she doesn't step on him. Alana, you said that he is so, so cute. He is. He's absolutely precious. He really is tiny. Look at him just moving in between everyone. And I just, it's just amazing to me how they're all so careful around, just for such big animals, they are so gentle. Always helping out one another when in need. It is absolutely fantastic. That is so tiny. And off they go. And now that little one is going to stick to mom's side. Oh, have you got a bit of an obstacle there? Where are you going? Just taking a step down. There you go, little wobbly legs. Go on, stand up. And very hairy. There you go, mom's saying, no, no, come past. Come stand next to me, come over here. It's easier to walk down this way. And she will, she'll show him as well. The easiest route, careful little one. Oh, that is so, 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 so precious. Walking in and amongst the giants. One day, you'll be just as big as everybody else. And off they go. Just like that. Lovely family herd. I read a, I was just telling David, I read a devastating article about some elephants. I think there were nine elephants that got electrocuted. And for the life of me, I cannot remember where it happened. But it was so terrible. It sounded like they were drinking water and a big power line fell over. I don't know what, what would have caused it to fall over and electrocuted this entire family. So can you imagine all of these elephants that we're looking at now all dying at once? I was heartbroken. I thought that was so, so, so sad. But luckily out here, down on the plains, you don't really see any power lines, which is, which is good. I mean, other than that, I, I know of a giraffe in the Eastern Cape where I used to work got electrocuted. It got caught up in power lines. And then shortly after that, they removed all the power lines with the help of the government with funding um, and, of course, private funding, too. And they ended up putting all the, the power cables underground, which firstly is a, a lot more pleasing to the eye to not be driving around while you're on safari and seeing power lines. But also 
uh, it, it well it's a safe bit of a safety hazard to the animals it can be and I don't know why but rhinos absolutely love to rub up against uh, the big power lines the big pylons they'll use rub their horns on it they'll use it as a bum scratching post uh, you wouldn't want a big animal like that pushing up against something like that because it's inevitable it eventually it will fall over there we go little one getting lost in the long grass it must be difficult though to try and get used to your feet especially the the terrain out here is not particularly flat um, I mean even though it looks flat there's termite mounds there's holes in the ground there's sludgy areas you know you could get stuck and that would probably be a big concern for mom I'm, I'm sure mom will try and keep it away from some very muddy areas because that little one really can't help even get up properly so to try and get out of a sticky situation would be tough and would definitely rely, have to rely on mom what a beautiful sighting you can see there's lots of bugs about though flying around the elephants tails are swishing ears are flapping thankfully they're leaving me alone today <laughs> now sammy jane you said that that is the teeniest littlest ellie bum you have ever seen well hopefully we'll be able to show you a whole lot more and um, hopefully there's be some Ellie's that give birth now in Juma. And there's no particular season for elephants uh, in terms of giving birth. It can be all year round. They've got such a long gestation period. Remember, it's 22 months. That's a very long time. So I think we were just lucky to see this. This is absolutely fantastic. Now, like I said, unfortunately, the sun is not in our favor. I'm not going to go chasing after these Ellie's because there's that young a young elephant in and amongst the herd. I don't want to panic mom. So we'll just watch from a little bit away. Now it will try and taste vegetation. I mean it's obviously going to be quite curious. It doesn't have any idea how to use this trunk just yet. But it will it will start practicing now. And you might find it will... Oh what have you got there? You're playing on the stick? Yes that's very very nice. Have a little scratch there. You can see the trunk doesn't really know how to do much, just moving sort of the, the tip of it around a little bit and very intrigued by this lock. One day you'll be able to push it over, but now you're unfortunately a little bit on the small side. Wow, oh, so sweet. Well, we'll see if we can stay here for a little bit longer. I'm going to send you to a Jamie who has beaten Brent and I to the first cat sighting.